Cat's Cradle here. We have had some amazingly hot days the past couple of weeks. Most of the days over 100. Last night we were out and my car thermometer read 101 at 9 o'clock last night. Really hot. Anyway, we got up this morning and the plants in the garden are looking a little parched. And uh, what I'm going to recommend is certainly nothing uh, like MHP Garden or any of those guys with big gardeners could do, gardens could do, but you certainly could with a relatively small garden like we have. We, we save uh, two liter bottles like crazy. Uh, if I'm at an event or a party or something, there's an empty bottle, I grab it and take it home. Uh, so here I've got a lot of water bottles. Some of them are, some of them are really old. Uh, I noticed by the date on the bottle that, you know, they're uh, 2007, 2008. So we store these. Uh, a lot of these out in our shop, and so this morning I asked Prepper A if she would mind getting a bunch of the water bottles and just watering the plants with them. It's a good way to rotate the water. So, <coughs> pardon me, she uh, used these bottles. This is about, oh, probably um, a fifth of what she used, and she just hand watered uh, all the tomato plants and the beans and, uh, well, just everything, the herbs and uh, then she would bring them in to me and I would refill them and we're replacing them on the shelf. I did put uh, with a perma pen down here, I don't know if you can see it, it says 7-Eleven. So I did at least put the date so that I'd know when, when that water was changed out in those bottles. But the bottles are old and they're holding up and uh, just a great way to, I mean you should do this every couple of years anyway, is rotate that water. So this is a perfect way uh, when your plants are parched, uh, use that water and uh, refill your bottles and label them, get them back on the shelf. Anyway, just a reminder, um, stay the course, Cat's Cradle.